<laughs> Always that creepy laugh from the happy mask salesman. Just though. Also, I have a special a special guest this time because there's a little uh, there's a little fur ball on my chest right now. All right. We are back to dawn of the first day. I did, uh, we are on a, another cycle after the one that I stopped, because I actually did some, uh, a little bit of grinding. I did, I got the quiver from the shooting gallery, I got the heart piece uh, from Honey and Darlings, and there was one other thing I did that I don't remember. Oh yeah, I got all the maps that I could get from Tangle right now. So we actually have maps, as you can see. I feel like I probably should have done that before I actually went went into Woodfall Temple, but uh, what you gonna do? So first things first, we were going to get this because the free hundred rupees every cycle is nothing to sneeze at. And we are actually going to get our butts over to to the mountain, which I think is this way. I didn't pay attention to what he said. Uh, that's the canyon. Okay. Gosh, I need to go around the other way. Because the canyon is to the east. And the mountain is to the north. I did spare you Tingle, so, uh... I, I want to... I want applause for that. There we go. That's the one I wanted. So we are going to slow the flow of time. And we're going to see how much we can get done in uh, Snowhead. So there's actually, you might notice there's kind of like a ramp thing here. And you're thinking, what is that for? Well, my friend, let me tell you what that is for. First we take off, we take out the Goron mask. That didn't quite work. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to launch off of that at full speed as a Goron, and it uh, sends you flying. Let me get a bit more, a uh, bit more distance to work it up. Whatever. <laughs> I don't care enough. Honestly, the bunny hood is just faster in every aspect, it feels like to me. We might need arrows. Yeah, we're gonna need to actually get some arrows before we can uh, progress. There is something that I need to be out here for at midnight on the first day. So if it's getting close to that, I might back out of Snowhead to go get that. Because the. Uh... Oh, yeah, good, good point. I keep forgetting I have the Song of Soaring, and I don't know why I keep forgetting I have the Song of Soaring. I just kind of do. Also, you can see the uh, getting the maps actually puts it uh, on our overall map as well. Yeah, since the dungeons don't reset until you reset the cycle, um, if we start getting close to that, 
I'll just song of soaring my way back to Clock Town and walk outside. The problem is, is I don't know where I need to be in that area. I just know I need to be in that area at midnight on the first day. So here's where that thing about the Goron comes uh, comes into play. This is actually a lot harder to control than it looks. And I do mean a lot harder to control than it looks. So welcome to Snowhead. Luckily we never have to do that again. Uh, actually, I think I came here a little too early. I don't think I can do anything here yet. Yeah, see that breath pushes me away? No matter where I will be, that breath will push me back. So there's actually nothing I can do about it right now. And then you might have actually heard that it made the, uh, the, uh, confirm sound when I opened the ocarina. There is something I have to play here, but uh, I don't have it yet. You actually saw the way we get it, uh, last time we came here. Because, uh... Oh, he's not here this time. I say, remember that dude frozen right there? We need him. Whoa, Link! Link! Child, why? Okay, that was a bad idea. Link a little too quick for this. I think he only appears after you've actually revealed the, uh... The hot spring. Like I said, uh, the ghost doesn't come back as far as I'm aware. What was his name? Darunda or something? I want to say Darmani. But I think it's just because- that might just be because of Romani. Also, I do apologize if the sound is uh, a little annoying. This is the best way to do it to conserve magic power. You just turn it on and off and on and off until you know where you're going. Izzy, what in, what in the world are you doing, girl? laying all over my lap like she'd have her lower body she had her lower body on my arm and the other body other part of her body hanging off the chair <laughs> okay so step one get this step two go outside step three this cutscene again Step four, defrost this dude. Oops. Step five, do this again. I believe that dude will actually be there at the bottom now.
This might be an entirely stupid idea, but you know what? I'm doing it anyway. Especially because I can just angle myself to land in the water. <laughs> He's not here this time. Um, interesting. Maybe I need to actually do something in the Goron village to get him to show up. Because he was there last time we did this. Ow. Jerk! I think he's buried. Oh, that would make sense. Where is he buried on day one? That might not have been close enough. Oh, thank god it was. Go down the hole, Link. So what is in here? Uh, here is another hot spring. So that's good to melt uh, as soon as you can because it gives you another source of hot spring water, which is right here. So let's figure out where this dude is actually buried. Not there. Not there. That's a heart, which I will take. There we go. Okay, old man. Time to wake up. Also, Gorons are kind of creepy looking if you, uh, if you ask me. Hey, buddy. You appear to be vaguely smoking. I think it's meant to be his breath. I wonder why the Gorons moved next to a place called Snowhead. Even if this place was a mountainous area, you would think that would just be a bad sign in general. Uh, let's see, how do I get him to talk to me? Is it this? No. Talk to me, dang it! Hmm. So he's not gonna recognize the. He just did nothing flying, or it tried to run away from me. I should take. I should show the uh, taking off animation of those. Next time. Alright, well let's head to the village then. At least we know where the Elder is, sorta. He's just gonna be kinda wandering down there for a while. Whoa, slippy slidey. Hello! Yes, please. This is actually something we can do as well, I believe. I just don't know how. So welcome to the Goron Shrine and a crying baby. Very loud, baby. Hmm. 
Yeah, that's why the baby is crying, cause uh his father's away. Whoa! It's actually ice physics in here, that's a surprise. Let's look at all these little toys and gems this little tyke's got. Oh. It's cold even in here. Poor baby. That's also a little bit later. I believe now the Elder will actually listen to me. So let's go find him. You actually can go off of this and hit that. Doesn't do us any good right now, but it will a little later. I still like the little little things on the floor here. Not sure what this blue one's supposed to be, but uh Now we can leave the land of the of the balling baby. Go find the elder. He's probably frozen over again. Oh. Yeah, I don't got time for you, puppy. Cloth. Why do we have this tiny loincloth? What is the, the purpose of it being on a uh, Goron Link? No one knows. There we go. Now we can tell him about his son. Also, how this dude made a baby when he looks ancient, I don't really know or want to know. Also, Goron nipples. Just Goron nipples. Oh, trust me, I feel a lot of pity for that kid. Aww. Also, I like how the fact that Link has, like, a really naive-looking face compared to the actual Darmani. Grandpa here forgot the song. But to be fair, he was frozen solid, so... I can't really blame him too awful much. So I have no idea if you try what happens if you try to talk to him as normal Link. I think he just doesn't listen to you. I've never tried to do it uh, outside of Goron Link. And we learned the lullaby intro. Dude, you were frozen solid. It's okay if you forgot it, really. I 
Alright, time to go play the intro for the baby. I'm busy. Go away. Why do you guys have random wild wolves outside of your city? This seems like a bad idea. I do like the fact that all of the Gorons recognize us. Oh, so there's a heart piece over there. That's uh, a heart piece in the trading minigame, though, because you might notice there's a Deku scrub underneath it in the brief shot we got. So that'll be something I do in a, in a uh, later cycle. When I actually sit down to do the entire trading side quest. <laughs> Koron's expression is the crying, though. Also, neat thing, you actually can see Goron Link hit different drums for each note you play. When he actually plays a song, it goes into uh, uh, the same exact animation as every other song, but when you're actually playing the notes, he hits different drums. We're on lullaby. So, so far we have... So, so, we, so far we have the uh, Sonata of Awakening and now the Goron's Lullaby. <sighs> his little baby's asleep. I find it kind of cute if sad he's in his dad's uh, chair. The Lullaby intro became the Goron Lullaby. This lullaby blankets listeners in calm while making eyelids grow heavy. Pretty much, yeah! Best part is, it wasn't just the baby we put to sleep. The whole city's asleep now. That's convenient and I think relates to something later on, but I'm not sure what. Well, not all of them are asleep, just the ones in the little area. Apparently Link's playing is not that loud. Now we actually have what we need to get in the snowhead, so... Alright, I need to talk to the, uh, you want me to talk to the Deku Scrub first. I remember it, don't worry! Okay. Also, oh, the little mustache leaves. I don't have 200 rupees. I don't have anything. Okay. Uh, I will come back here a little bit later then. I need another... There we go. I need another 100 rupees for that. But uh, that is very good to know that I can just fully upgrade the bomb bag now! <laughs> no, I don't want to go to the mountain village. I want to go to Snowhead. Also, we look a little awkward on the Goron because it's so tall! <laughs> Deku Scrub, uh, wait, where'd he go? Alright. The 
little late, but I will use it to here in a second. Yeah, for some reason it's a giant Goron that's blowing the ice and wind and killing everybody. I don't really know why. It just kind of is. Maybe it's a ghost Goron? Some vengeful Goron spirit? Question mark? Oh, very. Did I get it? I got it! Okay. So I'll actually show off the uh, remove transformation now. It's not really all that interesting though. It's just kinda trippy. Yeah, the, the Goron is never explained. Why there is a Goron there, how it is blowing ice, why is it why it is killing everyone that's trying to get the snowhead. It's never explained. I need to step back a bit. Camera is being a little wonky and making me a little bit dizzy here. There we go. Not interested, Wolfies. Whoa, don't bounce off. Can I actually... Hey, sweet! Out of my way! I'm waddling through. I think you're supposed to, like, roll up here, but that's too uh, uncontrollable for me. I'd go careening into the void. Is there? And we are now actually inside of Snowhead. So welcome to the ice dungeon. It's... it's a thing. This dungeon is, uh, I believe it's meant to be like a throwback to the Fire Temple, but it is a very vertical dungeon. Okay. There are a bunch of little white puffs around here. Oh, this isn't a, for some reason I thought that was a, uh, a song platform. That's the... Well, you'll see later. Remember how I told you that, um... That if you came in here with the boss's mask, the boss would just teleport you straight to him? Those little spots are uh, where the boss teleport actually is. That is a key locked door. That is a frozen door. We need to go through here. Also, as far as I'm aware, no, you can't actually uh, bring the... Um... the spring water in with you to melt that. It doesn't work that way. Whee! Oof. And that box is there specifically to keep you from killing yourself. I don't have any arrows. That fairy's gonna have to wait. <sighs> no, not, not anymore. Oh, so he's basically just freezing to death out there. Some more in this room, huh? We'll do the cleanup of the fairies a little later.
So yeah, like I said, you can see this is a very vertical dungeon. I actually like this dungeon worse than uh, the next dungeon, which is Great Bay Temple. Because uh, Great Bay Temple, at least, there's not a lot of places to fall. In the Great Bay Temple, it's mostly just a ton of swimming, so there's not really many empty pits. This place, there's actually quite a few. <laughs> also, for some reason, just the design of it and all the ice makes me intensely nervous, and I can't really explain why. It just sort of does. Okay, I think I got that in the right spot. No, that doesn't look like the right spot. I think it needs to be over here. Oh. Grab the thing, Link. Thank you. That puts that up there. Which we can't get to right now. There's our key. Door, link door. <laughs> Go on too bulky, can't see. Alright, so just see as you can see we're gonna be needing to defrost a lot of stuff because we're not gonna get anywhere until we actually have a way. Did we come this way? This is just a spot you can fall down. Let's right down here. Let's check it around. This is something. We're in Hailfire Peaks! I believe I can just touch the lava as a Goron. Yeah. Goron don't care about lava. Does nothing. So that'll be something else. We need to come back to that one. So what is in here? Uh huh. I guess there isn't an area you can fall and die in this dungeon. I take it back then. For the reason, I thought this dungeon was just full of like death pits. My defense, that was probably because no head outside is. There's still nothing we can do here, so we need to go back back up and get to uh, the door with the key at the entrance. Actually, we can just take the cheap way there. And just warp right to the entrance with the Song of Soaring. I don't know why I keep forgetting the Song of Soaring exists. It's the most useful thing in this game. Okay, so here's the next area. Punch, punch, punch. Get the thing, thank you, Link. There's a lot of frozen things here. But there's going to be a shiny thing here. And it is... A compass! Woohoo! And there's more wolves howling at us. Also, you see the compass without the map is kind of awkward looking. Uh, this is a problem, though. Uh... Are you st are you in the ice or are you stuck behind the ice? Okay, there we go. I'm not actually sure what I should be doing. Can you actually climb up here, Link? No, I thought that was too high. Oh, 
Hold on. Can I break? I can't break that as a Goron, but maybe I can break it with bombs. Where are my bombs? Oh, here they are. I keep forgetting you can't use bombs in your in your transform states. Like arrows, okay. Hookshot, okay. Any other item, okay. But why not bombs? They're literally just pull it out and put it down. What the? Okay. I had an icicle fall on my head. Shoot it twice in a row. That broke that one. And here's the last one. Let's see, what do I give me 50, uh, 40 arrows? And well, this is why. Let me tell you, I am glad I went after the uh, upgraded quiver, though. I didn't even I like I didn't even know that this was gonna be as as arrow uh, intensive as it seeming to suggest it's gonna be. Link didn't catch the edge. That's okay. I didn't actually think he would. Uh, I didn't think I was at the right angle for that. That's a little too high. Camera. This is a 64 game, but really, camera, please. Here's another thing. Ah, another small key. Uh, I believe that's the only. Yeah, that's the only other exit to the room is the small key door. That takes us here with those weird white puff balls. <laughs> Logic! I don't know if that will actually kill them, but I thought I'd try. Alright. So if I curl and pound... Okay, that brought those up. Not actually sure if I was meant to be able to jump that. all the things and immediately no big deal um, okay yeah link can make it normally uh, I see what I gotta do So first of all, hit this. I think maybe I can hit this. Push back down. I'm a puzzle solver! 
absolutely kind of actually slid for a minute there when he came into the room. Alright, so that way is blocked off. We need to go down to this netting basket thing. I can't punch them. They freeze Goron Link if he touches them. I could let's try bombs. Oh, do I need to Okay. I didn't think that would actually work because the last time I touched ice, it just froze me in place. I didn't realize that if I was uh full spike charging, it would not freeze me in place. To be fair, I probably should have tried that, but uh No, it doesn't work. Oh, I see what I see what you're talking about. Okay. I see it. I need to go and roll along that ledge. Is what I need to do. Okay. This might take a couple tries, so bear with me here. Especially when that happens. Ow. Pain. <laughs> Poor Link broke his legs. Okay. Uh, I went this way. I think. No, this is something else. That's a way I didn't go over there, though. Let's go this way. Link the door. Let's go this way first. I am so glad you had me get the bunny hood. Is this where I came in? You sure about that? try. So what's in here? This is probably the map. Yep. Map usually comes before the compass, so I, I had, had a feeling I missed it somewhere. Fairy! What is this? Nothing. Well, nothing I can work with right now. going. I must have gone this way. I didn't even touch the Dodongo. Did I? No. Okay. Alright, I need to go back to the first door. I'll just get the dude I need to be there at midnight for at the next cycle. Cause I don't want to have to walk all the way back up that that ramp. Excuse me. Go through the door. <laughs> he 
gave me just what I was hoping he'd give me. Hearts! I am gonna try to have to figure out where to get the, uh, the final well out upgrade somewhere, though. Camera, thank you. Yeah! <laughs> he gets, like, the anime surprise dies when that happens. It's kind of cute. I wonder. Yeah, I didn't think so. It's just far enough away that you can't, uh... You can't cheap it out like that. Such an easy way of dealing with those things. Can Goron jump? I don't think so. Yeah, Goron Link cannot jump whatsoever. Deku Link can jump, but only very short distances. Goron Link cannot jump whatsoever. I believe the second trans- the l third transformation mask can't jump, though. Oh, I figured I couldn't get it yet. I probably won't be able to get it until I've, uh, finished the final normal dungeon. get it once I hit the ocean. So we can get it when we go to pick up the funnel mask. Oh, so close! Of course, that's gonna require something kind of, uh... Well, we'll get into that. Luckily, I actually looked it up again and I can skip the thing I'm dreading for Romani Ranch. If I need to. You absolutely have to do it for stuff, but not completing the game stuff. You just need to do it for, like, heart pieces and stuff. Ha ha ha! Victory's mine! familiar looking place. And there's nothing I can do here because I can't thaw that out. So I just need to roll to the other side. Whee! I love the weird noises Link makes as Goron Link. <laughs> Oh god, not you! Why? This is, I believe, a whiz robe. They're awful. a lot more painful. <laughs> oh. And now we get the dungeon item. Which you've probably already guessed what it is, considering there's so much ice. Fire arrows! You actually get them pretty, uh, pretty quick. I think this game is actually not as long as Ocarina of Time is, so... Now that we have the fire arrows, we can actually go back and hit that switch.
And fire arrows are equipped the same way as you would equip them in Ocarina of Time. You just pick them on the selection screen and it makes them fire. Also, they get all flamey when you load them in. By doing that, we open, I believe, a shortcut. So I believe this raises, yeah, this raises and lowers. So we're just gonna go ahead and walk here normally because we got a bunch of stuff to defrost. So yeah, this my dislike of this dungeon is far less now that I know uh, there's not actually an empty void there to kill me. So let's start with this one over here. Fun fact, when I very first entered this dungeon, like my first time playing Majora's Mask, I was so sure it was going to put me in like a, a spring water time puzzle and I cried at the entrance. <laughs> then I couldn't find any spring waters anywhere. I was like, what's going on? What's, when is it going to come up? And then finally I got the fire arrows and I felt so much better about myself. One sec. Okay, back, sorry. Yeah, I honestly thought it was going to, uh... Did I not light this with the fire arrow? I can I honestly thought it was going to throw me into a, uh... A spring water puzzle. So yeah, you can't just smash those with your with your uh, sword. Okay, so these go out quite quickly. I'm pretty sure fire arrows is the intended way to go here. So it's buzzing me because you can't actually rapid fire fire arrows. You have to wait for your, your magic meter to stop glowing before you can fire another arrow. That's why I keep going buzzes, buzzes at me. Even though I had magic and arrows both left. This is probably another stray fairy. Hello, little friend. Whoa, that made me a little dizzy. <sighs> go over here first. So yeah, the de the uh, Deku flower down there so you can get back up here in in scrub form if you need to. So what's in here? I know we unlocked that door, but what's in here? This is back to the hallway. Okay. Shortcuts! Always appreciate shortcuts. What is this gonna do for us? What did that do for us? That raised that up high, but can we actually get up there? Let me through one of the other doors. Magic refill I could have done without I could have done with or without, but I really need some arrow refills here. 
Also, there are two lit razors there, and that's not melting the ice. Am I am I back at the entrance? Um okay. What does that do for me exactly? Okay, I must need to go back around again. Oh, I can defrost the things in here now. Punching wolves to death. Yeah, jump slushes don't really work on them. Well, I guess if you get the back. See, that's how you're intended to fight them. But Goron just punches through their defenses, so why wouldn't you? puzzle, sort of. Oh. Oh. Ha ha! Miss me! This should be another stray fairy! That's a third of them down. the block, please, Link. So what if I move this is normal, Link? Yes, because it's on ice. Sledding puzzle! the magic refills, but could I please get some arrow refills? That'd be nice. Think, grab it, please. Thank you. This will probably let me get up to the higher level where I raise that platform. Link, please. Camera, please. There we go. Is anything in the air? No. Oh, here's a familiar place. This is not where we needed to go, though. Ah, what the heck? Oh god, even the pots are rebelling now. Confused. Uh, 
where, where am I supposed to be going? Not this way. The other button probably just lowers it back to where it was, I think. I want to try something really quick. Oh, hello. Okay. Why is my arrow impacting on nothing? <laughs> What's actually going on? Um All right. O okay. Can I not hit that? Yeah, it's, it's like there's a something around it that's preventing me from shooting the, the fairy, but how do I get it then? I get a ding for that. What did that do? I am very confused. Also, why is that chest golden? the way I needed to go. Whoops a doodles. Maybe I can hit the fairy from down here. Well, that's a little too high. It's just straight up blocking the arrows. There's nothing in the way. I don't understand why the arrows are getting blocked. Why don't you give me a bomb? I need arrows. It's not frozen or anything. I'll try firing a, a fire arrow, but it's not frozen or anything. Maverick, look that one up. See, see what's going on with that one. I need to angle myself straight. Oh, Link, no. Get on the ice so he doesn't immediately take off. Why? At least I'm immune to lava. <laughs> I'm a very slow climber, though. Cock. This is gonna take me like ten minutes to do when I did it the first on my first try last time. Hit the box. Okay. Of course the arrows I wanted went down on the floor. 
So what is this? Hey, it's a small key. Okay. That's why it gave me the ding a ling, -a -ling noise. Uh, where have I seen a locked door? Really? It refroze itself? That's rude. Play, I won't play. Jerk. Okay, so it only rises up once. Then you have to shoot the eyeball again. Okay, so that will put me back here, which. I don't know does anything for me. Uh, I can't get to it. That pillar's blocking me from moving at all. <laughs> So I need to find where the other switch was and hit it, which I actually think I'm almost certain it was down here. Don't fall in the lava link! I can't, no. <laughs> Not from where I was. Yeah, that brings it all the way back down to the first level, which pops that back up. I mean, maybe? I didn't think I was in the spot where I needed to roll. So I go on either of doors, I come out where that is. That takes me back to the entrance and the way around. I am so confused. This is actually why I don't really like vertical levels. They're a lot harder to keep track of than uh, horizontal ones. So that pushes that back up. of going anywhere. Cause those sleeves just back over here. So let's try the path through the locked door. And see if this takes us anywhere that we can actually get around. I was hoping the wolf host getting stuck behind the ice. Brings us up to here, which takes us out to here. The one where I can go on roll is over there. 
I am completely and totally lost right now. I thought that would- that didn't do anything. I- I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here or where I'm supposed to go. Fair. Who needs a scarecrow when we can jump with a bunny hood? Not that there was actually anything over here, but... Although when you see Toddle turn blue like that, that's a spot we can play the Scarecrow song to bring the Scarecrow in. But uh, you need the hookshot to get to him. And we don't have that, so... <sighs> yeah, I, I got nothing. Maverick, can you like pull up a guide or something for me here? Because I am 100% completely and totally and utterly lost. Uh No, I'm not going to cry. I'm not upset. I'm just really confused. I wonder why it sounds like I'm gonna cry half the time when I'm not even remotely close to crying. I, I really have no idea what the game wants of me though. Like, it's clear the platform's meant to it's clear that this thing is meant to be up to let you go upwards, but I can't get anywhere when it's up, and I haven't been able to get higher at all. I have a key, but I didn't see a locked door it went to. What ice blocked passageway? We're in the four-way. No, I have no idea what corridor you're talking about. Oh, um... I don't know how to get there. <laughs> Unless you mean the bridge area right outside the, the entrance, I don't know how to get up to where I was beside the, the thing. down again until I can at least get a vague idea of how to get higher. Hello little fairy. Alright, this is the other room. Crack wall. No. Uh, 
this should put me out here. Which will put me back here, which I can just take a shortcut around. Now that I have the fire arrows. Okay. So there's the ice I've been missing. So apparently I was not supposed to actually uh, open the thing yet. Raise the thing yet. Okay, so this takes me up to a higher level. To my left. Yeah, that's when we have the thing we have to roll on. But that wasn't the one we came out of. We came out of the one across from it. No, none of these doors are locked. You can see each of these doors are actually uh, open because there's no chains or anything on them. So the locked door has to be up this way. There's another roll segment. This one does not have a safety net, though. Link, why? Link, why? Uh, I think it's because I'm technically invincible when I'm rolled. This gives me an idea, actually. No, that's not gonna work. Let's see, so if I raise the thing, then I could, I could get up there, but that, that uh, that's not gonna work. Because I have to be able to roll across it, and that will block me from rolling across it. be so bad if uh, that metal platform wasn't so uh, awful. Yes, I know. I've already spent two days in here. Shush. Well, not two days. I've spent a day in here. Okay, I got it. That's a long line of snowballs over there. What the heck is that? Okay. That was weird and freaky. Why did those snowman things have Goron faces? As you can see what I mean that the cutscene for the days is not played when you're in dungeons. I think my arrow just rebounded and went flying back behind me. Pretty much! Okay, so where is this going to take me and how is this going to help me? 
What? Oh, more Lisphos. I was like, what the? What is that? All oh, right, get away from them because they bring fire now. I'm also just reminded of Kuzco. That was the freakiest thing I've ever seen. We're new, at least. We're back to progress. And that was two fairies in one area. So we're 8 to 15 now. Okay. Now where am I? I'm above where I was a second ago. So there's a door, a barred door. Okay. So we're nearly at the top. Not what I meant to hit. Whoa, how... Um, how are we supposed to... How are we supposed to make that? Because nothing is stalling Link to make him build up speed and I can't get across that with a normal roll. Um... Okay, maybe this is where it needs to be high for me to cross, but... If I go down and make it high, how do I get back up here? <laughs> I don't know of any way to actually get back up here once I block off that rolling section. Maybe? Oh, worth a try. Let's go back around and see. I'm not interested in fighting you guys again. You're jerks. You guys are just weird. Don't throw a snowball at me, you twit. Uh, let's find out. Cause I can't build up speed to fire there either, because Link only stalls if he's like on thick snow or ice. I can't actually shoot those. I have to go from the other side. Just goes straight across it. I'm I'm totally confused again. <laughs> oh this is gonna be stupid if this is what I need to do. I've got this wrong and I don't actually need to build up speed on this and then hit that other way and I'm all the way back down <sighs> I, I don't know. I am completely and totally lost on what the game what I'm supposed to do, what the game wants me to do here. Yeah, since Maverick's just 
wandered off somewhere. I guess you'll have to, because I, I don't know. I have legitimately no idea what the game wants me to do. Like, I'm sure this button's got to be up, but I can't get... I can't get higher with the button up. Basically, I'm trying to figure out how to get the top... How to get to the top floor with the platform up. Because I have... I have not found a single way to get higher to where I need to be. Because I know why this needs to be up, and I know how to get to the spot where it's up. But I don't know how to get to that spot when it's blocking the way I need to go. What blue... I can... Hold on, I can punch the blue platforms up? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. So the dashing roll, which is, like, the spiked roll, which is supposed to have more of an impact, doesn't work, but punching does. Oh my god. Ugh. Okay, let's give that a shot. I'm gonna be really mad if that's actually the solution. <laughs> Okay, but this still doesn't help me. I still have no way to progress any further. Because <laughs> I need to punch out all the blue ones. I now need to get up there. But I have no way of getting up there. The only way to get up there is through the area directly ahead of me. Through this platform. And I don't know how to get over there. Like, I'm, I'm unaware of a way to get there from where I currently am, and I'm sure there is a way, but I don't know where the way is. Okay, so how the heck do I actually get up to the other platform? Uh, this does not lead to anything. Maybe the blue door. The sh not that I'm aware of? I wasn't aware the shortcut elevator took me to a room that would actually get me up on that side. You're right though, it actually might. And I got no I got nothing else I can do but try it, so alright. I'm if that is the if that is the case, I'm gonna be mad but at myself this time. <laughs> if I actually needed to go through the elevator. And now I need to get back over there somehow. Oh yeah, you ever figure out how I was supposed to get that stupid fairy? <laughs> Oop, two angle turned to roll. Uh, 
Okay. Now I have to actually remember where that shortcut... Oh, I know where it is. I accidentally skipped it entirely. Whoops. I dum dum. I gotta do this again. Hopefully it won't take me another like seven tries. Box. Go up here, get on the elevator. Waste magic because that thing's in the way. Get up here. Now, did this actually put me out? I'm a dummy. This one is my big bad. Okay, so that puts me up here. I can punch that. Wait, was I supposed to punch these blue sections out? Because that means I can't actually get up now. If I had not punched the blue sections up, I could have actually walked over. Maybe I need to actually get in the one across from across from me. Pouch. There is where. <laughs> the only Deku flower thing I've seen has been in the other is in the other ice room. Don't fall off, don't fall off. Oh, that was a little too close. Okay, well now I can just completely walk right over. I feel like a dummy! Oh, and this just puts me right here. Okay. Tell you to, the hitbox of this thing is really wide. It's the entire rocky part. Okay. This will launch me right over here. Okay. Also, yeah, Link just puts the other mask on top of the mask before, and I don't really know why. Okay. Oh! Why? Why? This is actually fairly simpler than I remembered it. I think it was Wind Waker that I just absolutely positively load the living daylights out of the wizard robe.
Also, as far as I'm aware, you have to use arrows on the wizard's robe. You can't actually stab it. Ooh, hello. This would be the boss key. This is the arrow-based boss, by the way. And I remember absolutely nothing whatsoever about it besides that. So this is gonna be interesting. I do, I'm not, I do know I'm not gonna need the Deku anymore, so... Uh, okay, how do I... I think it can probably just fall. Ooh, careful, Goron Link. Okay. <laughs> now that I feel, now that I feel uh, thoroughly humiliated by this dungeon, let's uh, let's go fight the boss. I still got my fairy in a bottle, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I do. I want to get that done before we actually properly exit Snowhead. I probably should have done it before we fought the boss, to be honest, but uh... This looks a little tight for a boss arena, but I'm sure it's nothing. Oh, right. I don't have fire arrows. That is a creepy looking mask. So yeah, this thing charges on a track. I think we need to hit it as Goron Link. Uh, didn't seem to do anything. We need to hit it again. Yeah, we're actually hurting it when we hit it. Look at these pots constantly respawn as well. Did he change direction? Oh, you rude twit. gonna actually like stop where are you buddy boy wait no I actually think I need to punch him yeah did Link just do a booty bump? I think Link just did a booty bump. Apparently I was wrong, there isn't isn't an arrow based boss. For some reason I thought this one was. For some reason I remember this as an arrow based boss. I think because I tried to fight it like it was an arrow based boss when I first played this. 
That didn't go well for me, as you can most likely guess. Get up. Rude. I seriously think I just, when I played this first time, I just tried to do this as an arrow based boss and uh, had a really bad time with it. I think it's one of those things where you did it in your childhood, so it absolutely must be true. No matter how many times you've proven your brain wrong, it just will not accept that. Come on, Link, get the spikes, please. There we go. This is also a very annoying boss fight. Because Goron Link doesn't control as well as he really should for this. Well, Goron Link's controls are fine. The camera is the problem, thinking about it. Also, stuff like that, where I was clearly clear of that, and yet it stopped me anyway. Oh, wow, rude. I'm going back to go in the opposite direction. I started going along with him because I could get two or three hits on him while doing that, but uh, that's really just making this harder. Link, Link! What in the world were you doing there? Those lag tights are so bad. Oh, I got him. Did he stop? No, at least one more. A lot better when I'm going around the opposite of the track. Didn't drop still. Sounds like he's having fun with some lightning. Ooh, that one was actually quite nice. This way. I let out a bomb. Ow. Yeah, like, this was kind of interesting the first few times, but this goes on a little too long. Did it fall? No. To be fair, I could probably say that about any of the Majora's Mask bosses. Is, uh, they have a little bit too much health for what you actually have to do. like that happens. There we go. Goodbye and good riddance. I think we might actually have to do this again. So I don't think we beat it fast enough to dodge uh, Romani being taken.
Yeah, so I'm gonna have to deposit all, go buy the bomb bag, deposit all my stuff, reset the cycle, and do that a second time. Because we physically cannot progress without Epona, and we have to get in to um, the ranch before night one to get Epona. And unfortunately, even if I could, I can get the thing I need to do that now, but I don't, do I? Can I actually keep the keg license through resets? Because if so, I'll go get that, then I can just not have to worry. I thought the keg license was taken away from you and you had to do it every single time. Am I still going to have to kill the dude a second time to get the keg, or can I buy it from the dude in the bomb shop? Also, yeah, the giants aren't very talkative. So that dude froze over again. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay. So it's not going to be that bad. So yeah, this is how this is place is supposed to look. Green and lush and not at all frozen solid. I don't know why, but I honestly find this section the most terrifying. Like, the first one is pretty bad because it's a poison swamp, but it's a swamp, first and foremost. And secondly, uh... Like, the only person who's really suffering or in danger is the princess. Which, yeah, she needs help, but... It's not really that big a thing. Yeah, it's basically like the one in Okami where it's just- the residents are slowly freezing to death and it's kind of horrifying. Uh, as we go, you'll find that the dungeon area is uh, three and four. Oops, this way. Also aren't that bad in terms of what's going on. They're certainly not good, but... For whatever reason, the Gorons in Area 2 is like the worst part that Skull Kid's doing, and they throw that right at you. <laughs> and it just kind of surprises the limit surprises me that they threw this out so early. No, oh, hey, it's the actual way you're supposed to get up to to uh, this place. Oop, there's a hole there. Yeah! That was a waste. Like, don't get me wrong, uh, Great Bay and the Stone Tower have their own things, but... It's more, um, centrali centralized? I don't know the actual word, the actual way to put it. Also, Gorn Village is apparently an area that's still frozen solid. Oh no, it's just the transition area. Okay. This is the one problem with Goron Link's fighting. It's just absurdly hard to hit anything. Let's see. I believe the thing we need for... Hello, little child. The license is up here. Did your dad get frozen somewhere again? I think this is what I need to do for the keg license, at least. Oh, 
Oh, so much for being an adult, huh, kid? Yeah, that's just too big for a Goron to break. So we actually need to go into the city. Also, I find it very ironic that, uh... The way to the Goron city is, uh... Covered in water, considering Gorons will drown immediately if they touch water. <laughs> Also, yes, you did see a chest under the water. There is nothing we can do about that. We're gonna have to come back later for that. Okay. Now that I actually have what I need. And now our bombs are fully upgraded. Goron powder keg shop, set up where a Goron cannot actually get inside. So this is just, if I remember correctly, a pain in the butt. We'll see how many tries it takes. So here's the powder keg. And here is why this is a pain in the butt. This thing is on a timer. We have to throw it up slopes because we can't get up slopes on our own. And we have to get it all the way to that racetrack spot before it explodes. And yes, we have to do this as Goron Link, the slowest of the links. Because the other links can't lift this. So you can actually see your time ticking down with the fuse. Thankfully, this is not a case, as far as I'm aware of, if an enemy hits you, it explodes immediately. And the enemies are actually fairly easy to dodge because the wolf posts require a wind-up. And if you are moving away from them but when they stop to wind up, they will miss you, just guaranteed. So, huh, this was actually... Oops. Link, pick it up. Link, pick it up! <laughs> this is actually not as bad as I remembered it. I started to say. <laughs> and then I dropped it and couldn't pick it back up. Yeah, this was actually as hard as I recalled. I remember this being a lot worse. Maybe it was just harder to do it in 3D for some reason. <laughs> yeah, I was happy just sitting here resting. Glad I got it. Yeah. I'm going as fast as I can go. Yeah, I guess either either that was just harder in the 3D version, or I just am not as bad at video games as I was when I last played this. Either of which is entirely possible. <laughs> Luckily, as far as I'm aware, there's no time limit on getting the license. You just have to get back before you reset the cycle. 
And then once you actually have the license, any powder kegs you buy go in your inventory. You no longer have to carry them like that. Hi, buddy. powder keg which doesn't do us any good whatsoever <laughs> I believe that technically got us the license I think Alright, that being said, as I, like I said before, there is actually uh, absolutely nothing we can do. Uh, well, well, there's stuff we can do, but we can't actually... Uh, we can't actually progress at all without Epona. Like, you physically have to have Epona to get into the final two areas. What am I holding on for? Oh, that's actually right. That's a good idea. I actually don't need to do the boss. Um, all I needed was the, the powder keg license. But um, I think because I now have had the powder, the powder kegs added to my inventory and that's no longer an empty slot, the game will just say- the game will just give it to me. Oh, so there's our Goron friend. He's perfectly happy now. Yeah, that- like, that was my concern, but that's what, uh... That's what Maverick just said, is that, uh, you just needed to get the kegs added to your inventory and the game would count it as having the license. So let's get these fairies first before we start doing anything else. Because I would really like to not ever do Snowhead again. <laughs> so we had eight of the fairies from it, and I know where a ninth one was. It's that one in the, uh... That's why I don't use the Goron roll to get up. Hey, what is this? Oh, this is the fountain. Okay. The lens in the elevator room. Interesting. Did either of you figure out why I could not get that fairy in the bubble in the, uh, in the first ramp room? So there's a weird water dripping noise, which I guess is things melting. Hello, Mr. Moon. His back's to us. Okay. I don't even remember how to get in the elevator room again. <laughs> uh, in interesting. This should not be triggering yet. So this is the dialogue and what happens when you have the, the boss's mask. You can just step on that platform to go right to the boss fight. That's not supposed to happen, I thought, until you reset the cycle, because the boss is dead this cycle.
Okay. So how do, how do I get back to the platform room? <laughs> how do I get back to the platform room? This is the question of the day. So I have already forgotten every single solitary thing about this dungeon. Ah yes, I remember. I need to get back out to the center. I need to go down. Down there. Little too far down, Link! I can work with this, I think, though. Shitting here up here. Okay. Uh, elevator room. What's in here? Oops. Well, now I can hit it! Okay, just for completionist's sake. Didn't think so. So we got all the fairies in that room, we got all the fairies in this room. It- yeah, it- it must have just glitched. This isn't an N64 game, it's entirely possible. You know what though? I do not even care. I got it and that's all that I care about. White bows? Oh, maybe those are the the little Maybe those are the little um puffball things? I know where that room is, at least, I think. Okay. Oh, this is nasty. Fairy, at least. Okay, let's try a little, a little something here. That's only a fairy in this room. Leap and make it over here. Okay, that puts us back here. There are actually still fairies in this in this big room here. Uh, oops. Roll, Link, roll. That's not rolling, boy. Okay, let me go find the... the white book of thing room. Link can fall from almost any height as long as there's room for him to roll. Doesn't matter if he immediately rolls into something like you saw there. I 
wish I could check. This room has a fairy as well. Fake wall near one of the raised platforms. There's a lot of lens use in here, but I guess it makes sense. I never would have actually thought of it. I could have. Sp I was wondering what that that weird snow thing there was about. side of it. Okay. And the doorway leads me in here. You said there is something invisible around here? the ceiling with the lens of truth. I am gonna need some more magic here soon. Okay. There's nothing in the ceiling. Okay. I hit an invisible bubble. Fairy, come here. <laughs> I, I literally didn't see anything. I just fired blind and then I hit a bubble. Magic, not bombs. Magic, please. Alright, so we're up to 11. And there's still at least one in this area. Could be. Blind firing saved me, like always. Here is it higher? <laughs> Gotta be higher up, so Get the bone door in the room. With it. I'm not sure what you're talking about. The only one I can think of was one that was actually required for me to progress. see here. Yeah, that was that was required for me to progress. What was I supposed to get there? Or do you mean just the fairy that was actually in there? Because I did get the fairy that was in there. Only one though, so if there was two, uh, I did not get those. Why? <laughs> that room had three. Uh, I don't think I got three in there. I got one. That's the only one I know of.
There we go. <sighs> How do I get back there? That was not the one I, I got by progressing upwards. So what door let me in there? I think it was the green door. Ah, running in circles. Okay, I didn't actually bomb anything but the wall. I didn't bomb a crate. So number one was the only one I got. Okay, this will be back out here. Where am I going? I hate this dungeon! <laughs> I am so completely lost. Okay. I guessed right. All right. Press the button to test the peers. So I got that was the one I got. Number one was the one I got. Two was the bombed crate, which is that one. If the game will stop spinning me in circles. was technically in the other room. But that third one was technically in the other room and that is one that I got as well. So I remember jumping over to it and then hitting the chest. I was like, oh wait. There's one in the creepy snow throwing room things that we missed. Creepy mask, like it's no big deal. Okay, so that's the one this one is detecting. The one that's uh, in the Deku flower. Needs a Deku flower. Okay, so I need to... I need to go run and hit that blue one. Because that will take me to the elevator, which will take me up where I need to go higher. At least the fairies aren't too difficult to find. It's just my sense of direction that's making this dungeon a living hell. Uh, oh yes, I need to go down here. And I somehow broke grass with my face. I have to admit, it's clever that they hit a lot of fairies with the lens, considering the lens was also uh, a Goron item this time around. Well, not necessarily a Goron item so much as you got the item from the Gorons. Clever, clever, clever tricks. 
still mad because this dungeon is hard to navigate for me. Okay, this will get me higher. I need to go find the creepy snow gorons. Actually, I can just drop. <laughs> okay, so drop here and just start scaling back up to the top of the thing. I will say one thing I legitimately don't like about this dungeon is I don't like the music. It's just very boring and bland. things were in an area further down here. Wait, what was terrible? Why am I terrible? I think they were right up here. Here they are. Also, Goron Link does have a shield, so to speak. Oh, Pi. Pi is terrible, not me. Sorry, I'm focusing too hard on what I'm trying to do here. Okay, so should be a lens. Is that it right there? It's got the snow texture again. Yep. Uh, okay. Oh, I bet I need to... I need to bow it. Maybe? I broke another... <laughs> Bubba, I couldn't see! <laughs> Go me! Is this too high for Link to climb? I think it's too high for Link to climb. Yeah. I'm mostly just laughing that... Cause I, I think I just didn't have the right angle on it, but I'm somehow hitting it even though I can't see the bubble. Okay, so now we need to climb. Link, hit- thank you! <laughs> hit the snowball! Far below with the lens of truth, huh? Whoops. Forgot that the whole stone area is the load zone for the stairs. Over here to the boss door. Okay, so there's an alcove way below me somewhere. Aha! There it is. Okay. I should have turned the, uh... Apparently Deku Link can, uh... Fly down indefinitely. He just can't, uh... Fly in general indefinitely. I hope they got enough magic for this. Oh. 
These things had bottles on them. There we go. Okay. Step one, Deku Link. And peer down to get the camera to look down for me, because I believe it is... Yeah, it's directly underneath there. I don't actually know if there's a way to go down faster. I think we just gotta kinda wait for it. family. Oh, so you can't turn the lens on and off in midair, and I find that dumb. Also, I like the fact Link uses pink flowers. I don't know why. I just like the pink flowers. Fun fact, in the randomizers for this game, you can actually change what model Link uses. You can use the cafe's model if you really want. I think there was even a fierce deity model that was modded to work properly. Ocarina of Time randomizer, you can change what color his tunic is. Oh, thank god. This should be the last fairy. Come here, you. Also, you can't pause when text's on the screen. Fun fact. Snowhead! Get me the heck out of here! <laughs> okay, can I just drop from here to get to the area? Low, yeah. See, just rolling links fine. You better give me something good for this lady! <laughs> also, I do like the like water veil curtains it has on the sides here. Pointy boob hug. I want a reward. Ooh, I think we're actually gonna get a magic upgrade. This is the Great Fairy of Wisdom. So the, so the Great Fairy of Magic was in Clock Town. This is the Great Fairy of Wisdom. So that means Great Bays and Stone Towers are power and courage. Totally worth it. <laughs> Look at that magic bar. <laughs> Totally worth it! <laughs> okay! Did I actually have- I don't care about loading rupees, okay. So now we can actually go uh, get Epona, and we can circumvent the vast majority of this. Plus, I want to save, so I don't have to do that again. <laughs> I 
I will say that dungeon's not as bad as I, as it felt like it was. I was just kind of didn't think of a couple of things, but I don't like vertical dungeons for that very reason. Okay, so the first thing we need to do... No. First thing we need to do is go get some money. Do you know how much the, um, the kegs cost, Maverick? I just don't want to pause it. Still too fast at mashing. Wow, nine, three nine nine. I'm just gonna grab all of what I got. Cause I can come back here and uh, deposit if I need it. Do you have a keg I could have? Yes, he does! Okay, I actually have to be in Goron form. No. Talk. Thank you, Link. Oh, it's only 50 rupees. That's not bad. See, so yeah, the dude who made uh, the powder cake was, I think, he's not Big Goron. Big Goron was the huge one, but he's a big Goron. I don't know what he's called. You know what? I don't care. if you deposit 200 every if you deposit if you take out and then under two take it out to under 200 and then deposit 200 every cycle it's uh he gives you five rupees every time also yeah so basically the, the thing the way that um ocarina of time and even uh the way that ocarina of time in this game works is that um, when you have- is that your inventory is blank at the start. When you pick up an item and you get the icon in your inventory, it is permanently written that icon in- that item into your inventory. That's why things like the, um, the powder keg work. Because by giving you a powder keg, the game writes you as having it in your inventory, which means you can now buy them freely. It's the same it works with, like, bombs and bomb shoes and arrows. Also, I could have just flown here, but meh. So this is trying to break this rock. Apparently Skull Kid did this as well, because Skull Kid is really too bored. I keep forgetting it won't just take it off you automatically. I don't know who else could have done this. Also, yeah, when you take out the bomb, the dude runs away! <laughs> Yeah, he, he don't care how it got open. He only really cares that it was open. Because <laughs> if it's open, his job is done. I don't know how the Gorman brothers would actually manage to... to do that, though. That's a huge rock. So because we're on the first cycle... Romani actually, like, exists now. She's just kind of wandering around firing the bow at that, uh, that balloon. Wow, rude! A Pona is worth any milk! You. Talk to me. Also, her eyes are still kind of disturbingly weird looking. Is that just me? Is that it? 
She's got a Bowser clip tie. Look at the thing holding her scarf. It's Bowser. Let's be nice and tell her our name. Yeah, Romani's kind of stupid. I don't really like her. Then again, I don't like people who name others. <laughs> so, uh... Unless I've known you for like a year, you don't get to nickname me. Oh, so this is creepy music. Also, they come every year. How are you still in business? Also, if if they do do this every year, how come your older sister doesn't believe you about the cows? She would actually notice that the cows are disappearing, right? Sure, why not? I have to agree to get a pony anyway. So what, what this intends you to do is that you're going to be on Epona's back and you're supposed to run around and shoot the, the aliens. There actually is a spot you can stand in that will, um, that will let you hit all of them from your spot. But I need to actually look up that strategy again. Which is good because, quite frankly, firing from opponent's back is not, uh, not ideal. As you can see. This is you have to actually cancel to re, uh, reorientate opponent. Faster do horse dog. Why did I call her a dog? Oh, so remember correctly, with the actual event, you can't uh, you can't just spam arrows. It takes your actual arrow count. Could be wrong though. There we go. bad as I remember it, but still pretty bad. <laughs> That's because it's our horse. Link, I know you're a pushover, but like, you can say this is your horse. This is actually part of why I hate this segment, is that it literally makes no sense to have to do it through her. It's really because, if you remember correctly, Epona is skittish and won't actually listen to anyone else unless they know this song. You could just, like, go up and tell Crimea, like, Hey, you've got my horse. I can prove it. Play the song, and then when Epona comes to you, it's proof that she belongs to you. <laughs> like, I know this was a way to keep you from getting Epona and thus getting into the other areas before you'd finished Snowhead, but it's really dumb. Yeah, like... 
Like, the Song of Time is fine, because it doesn't seem like Link forgot that. You didn't have anything to play until you picked up the ocarina. So that one was fine. Ep Epona Song... That was my bad. Epona Song, it makes absolutely no sense that uh, you wouldn't be able to call her from the start. If they had to restrict her, they needed to have a better way to do it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to be doing the alien thing for quite a bit. Well, I say quite a bit, but uh, probably not until I finish Great Bay Temple. But yeah, we now have Epona, and we can now freely call her. Like, you can't even claim that it was because she was behind bars and you couldn't call her. If we play Epona's song at all, she will now come running. <laughs> Like, even if we reset time, she will come running. Basically, yeah. I don't want to help Romani. I don't like Romani. And I don't like the minigame. So just like Lake Hylia, Great Bay is blocked by a fence and you need a Pona to jump over it. I still find it weird they didn't even like model a Pona a saddle. It was fi it was understandable when she was a pony because you never rid her, but this seems like it hurts her. <laughs> I forgot about that. If you actually stop for a bit. Link will pet her. No! No hoy! I know I didn't slow down time. I don't need to slow down time right now. I'll see, yeah, Pona tramples anything she steps on, so, uh... She's pretty good at clearing areas out. Epona is the best horse in video games, and I will not hear otherwise. There is no horse in any video game that is better than Epona. Also, look at that thing way- well, never mind. Look at that thing way out there. It looks like a giant fish with googly eyes. Okay, so this is kind of a little bit awkward. We have to get behind him and push, which is easier said than done because Link will not stick on him. Like, I have never been able to play this game and have Link stick on him. I've constantly had to just reorientate myself every few- every second. Did it say I could grab him? So I can. Wait, no. Okay, grab. There we go. Wow, and I've just been doing it the hard way this whole time. I think I was probably never actually on angle to grab him. Because Link goes floating around and I don't actually watch my A button that often, which... That's not a fault on the game. That is entirely my fault. <laughs> but, uh... Also, I don't know why this dude wanted to go to shore. You're a Zora. Shouldn't you die in the ocean? Also, nice tattoos. He's a pretty dude, yeah. Yes, yes we do. This is Mikau. And his story is actually really sad. 
Of course we'll listen, buddy. You revived pretty quickly for somebody dead. On the verge of death. Um... Weren't you supposed to be, like, nearly dead? Babies. I'm laughing too! <laughs> Just kind of internally. Babies. I don't know, you seem pretty spry, dude. I don't know that you're gonna die. Whoop. Face down in the sand. I feel like Link's just going, um, okay? He has his hands on his hips. The Zora is something else! There we go. I, I don't ever remember what some of these songs are. This is actually, I think, one of the more touching scenes in the game. So I'm gonna be quiet for this. I really like the Song of Healing. I really do. And Mikhail leaves us his feelings behind. It does contain Mikhail. It's never really clear how Link's masks work. I don't really think they have proper souls in them because, uh, as the Happy Mask Salesman showed, it removes curses. I think it just has the feelings of those spirits in it. So it's never actually stated, uh, in game anywhere, but, uh, it is heavily implied that those eggs, um, which are, I believe her name is Lulu. It is heavily applied that Lulu's eggs uh, have Mikao for the father. And uh, basically what he said is he tried to go get them back from the Gerudo pirates and the Gerudo pirates killed him. So yeah, it's quite sad. Also, there are apparently songs here, but I don't want to sing it. So we now have our final... Uh, our final transformation mask, basic transformation mask of the game. And let's take a look at what it looks like. And this is Zora Link. I actually quite like the way Zora Link looks. Also, of course, since uh, it was Mikao's feelings that. Uh, did it? Yep, our instrument is a guitar. So there, are there are two things that are cool about Zora Link. First, you see can, he has kind of a melee punch like the Goron. But see, his his thing is not uh, 
not attacking melee. If you hold down the punch button, he can fire his uh, fins off. But more importantly, at least to me, Zora get Link gets free movement underwater. You can swim completely freely. And this is, I believe, the very first Zelda game where you ever got just complete free swimming like this. And I don't think any other Zelda game has ever let you do it again, either. Well, see, if you go too far out, you just get, uh... You just get sent back. Because, uh, I believe the explanation is that the, the sea is very confusing. But yeah, so the, the, the plot here on Great Bay is getting, um... Well, I'm gonna leave. Is getting, uh... Mikao's and Lulu's eggs back. So this here is going to be a plot, that horse, that uh, seahorse, because we can actually talk to it. Basically, yeah! Also, that is a horrible way to keep in a fish, dude. You're gonna kill the poor thing. Yeah, I, I believe it's the same thing as uh, Ocarina of Time, as you have to find gold skull to lose, but I'm not totally certain. Oh, interesting. Also, this dude is a giant pervert and will give us the rare thing he was going to sell for a lot of money if we get him a voyeuristic picture of an unwilling woman. Mm. So, they're going to get one thing um, before we go. See, Gerudo Fortress looks like... Uh, the thing about Gerudo Fortress is it works roughly like, uh... Sorry, the thing about the Gerudo Pirates is it works roughly like the Gerudo Fortress in Ocarina of Time. In that you have to navigate around without being seen. In order to, uh, get the eggs, which is... A bit of a pain! And we'll get into a little bit why later. But there is a major difference in this game from that game. Um, I'll get it a little later. There's one thing I want to get the thing I'm talking about first. I'll probably come right back since I'm not going to be doing anything this cycle, so. And I do want to show off the final area. Girl, let's move. I don't know if Epona still uh, okay with the bomb she's without us getting hit, and I'd rather not find out. Oh, I found out anyway. There's a thing up there. So if I recall right, this right here is the area I need to be at. All the carrots for my precious horse! All of them! So if I turn this on, there's a guard here. He has apparently been invisible for quite a while. So why didn't you go back to town? Are your legs broken? Have they been broken for years? Um interesting. 
So we can't actually do this yet. I don't actually know what he needs. Also, I don't know what that thing is or if I can even talk to it. Apparently I can if I get close. Oh, he needs a red potion? So yeah, this canyon's gonna be fun. Are we actually going to have to do that side quest before we can come in here? We're going to have to do that dumb side quest before we come here, aren't we? Sorry about that. Ow. Or I'll offer him, I guess. A part of this invinci invincible, that's what's going on here. Poe's like, you think you can take me? You can't take me. Okay, so let us go get the spider house and come back here and see if we can actually hit up that thing at, at midnight. Also, the creepy snow golems are around here. I'll, I'll at least peek into the, the skull house and see what we can do. Like the shooting gallery, I might finish it off screen if it turns out too complicated. Because nobody, nobody wants to watch me wander for another half hour. <laughs> the dungeons are bad enough. Okay, I don't have any bombs anyway, so uh, I'll just I'll just handle this a little later, sometime after the Great Bay Temple. We actually did get Snowhead done, which uh, was more of a trial than it probably needed to be, but uh, we've gotten the most important thing, which is Epona, so we'll figure out some other stuff a little later on the next cycle.